Many people living in a large homeless encampment in downtown Houston have been forced to either move to a shelter or find another place to live. This photo from our partners at the Houston Chronicle shows workers clearing Tent City that had been under Highway 59 near Minute Maid Park. ABC 13's Derek Lewis has more on the city's efforts to find housing for the homeless population. I'm just thankful to wake up every morning. This is where Nigel Capers calls home on Runnels Street, a block north of the cleared out encampment. Three years ago, he lost his job and life took a turn. Started working at Pilot for $12 an hour and 30 hours a week. You know, Rob Peter to pay Paul, to Rob Paul to pay Peter and stuff until we lost it all. Starting over has been tough and living here has its challenges. You leave your stuff for more than five to 10 minutes and stuff is even commandeered and stuff, you know, so. Um, it gets old, you know. A glimpse of hope for the 53 year old came when he found out from a friend that officials were clearing out the tents, forcing people to find somewhere else to stay. He just said that they had till Thursday um, that they were going to uh, have to give the, be given the option to go to the navigation center and uh, go through rapid house, uh, rapid rehousing. For those who had nowhere else to go, they were moved to the Navigation Center this week on Jensen Drive in Fifth Ward. A partnership between the City of Houston, Harmony Housing, and the Coalition for the Homeless made this happen. ABC 13 called the city and reached out to its partners to discuss ways the shelter would help the community. But a spokesperson for the mayor says the office is waiting for the grand opening to share more details. Capers is waiting too. With my PTSD, anxiety, depression and stuff, I'm already hypervigilant um, stuff. And so being out here in the atmosphere and stuff, you know, you have, you know, have to be on your toes, you know, at all times and stuff. And so it's just added pressure. There's no word on if or when people living in this encampment close to the one cleared last week will be moved. The special assistant to the mayor of homeless initiatives told our partners at the Houston Chronicle that the mayor's goal is to decommission all the medium and large encampments in the city by the end of the year. Whether those around him were forced out or chose to leave themselves, Capers says he hopes they get back on their feet. God bless them and, you know, hope they stay away. I'm Derek Lewis, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.